Greetings and salutations, MegaWizard79 here with another episode of Skyrim Crutz the Barbarian Enchanter Edition. Uh, so, in our last episode, we went into um, this uh, Dwemer ruin all the way up here in the Reach. Um, let's see, uh, Ark. Ark. Thasm, or whatever the hell you call it. Anyway, but yeah, we're currently on the, uh, where is it? Here we go. Ah, uh, yeah, we're, uh, lost to the ages. And we have to find three more Ethereum shards. Or, yeah, shards. Okay. Uh, one of them is located over here. Fortunately, uh, the shards themselves aren't that hard to get to. Most of them are actually out in the open. Others are, like, right here. You know, like in these, uh, little, uh, tiny bunkers. There you are. Give me a hand with this door, would you? There we go. Ba boom, and there it is. See, no muss, no fuss. Mm, doo -doo -doo. Hoo hoo! I'm rich. <laughs> I can make all the dwarven armor. <laughs> Isn't that funny? <laughs> that leads right into that room. That's hilarious, actually. So instead of uh, picking one expert lock, um, they had it so that if uh, if you couldn't pick that, you would pick this, come around and do that. Okay, yeah, because at first I'm going like, huh, they're really ex... Ah, yes, a dwarven converter. Those are actually, that's actually quite useful for a specific quest. Uh, quest that I probably won't be doing because I am not going to be a mage. Ooh. Just giving me all the goodies, aren't they? Anyway, this is what we came for, though. Thanks again for all your help. Well, that's the second one. We're halfway there. I'll keep looking. See you soon. Okie doke. Okay, the last ones should be out in the open, and I think they're in the reach. Let's see. Uh... Okay, so. Looks like I'm probably maybe going to have to refer to this thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, so number four was over here. Uh, number three is the primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. Okay, so that's not important. Yeah, so three is probably where we have to go for the Ethereum, I assume. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think that area we were at. Let me see. Because that's, uh... Yeah, like, up here. Yeah, because this was the spot where we found the, the lady. So... Um... 
Yeah, it was like somewhere here. Um, I guess we'll go from this cave and see where we can... Because it's supposed to be like up there, more or less. Alright, so... Really? Hmm. Ah, oh, there you are. Damn you. Thank you. Anyway, uh, it's probably that over there. Yeah. There you are. All right. Come on. Hoping everyone's still dead. Here we are. Ah, oh, no, this is just a bridge. Interestingly enough. Hey, look! Nern root. I don't really need it. So maybe it's that place over there then. Or, I don't know, let's see. It's just a converter. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, this is just a place to find another converter. Ah, wait! Ha ha ha! Beat me to it this time. That's what, your third? All right, only one left to go. I'll meet you there. Okay. How the hell? I'll just... Yeah, I'll just take that stuff. Why not, right? It's here. Uh, it was just a nor yeah, this is just a normal dwarf sword. And that helmet, just a dwarf helm. It's not as good as the one I currently have, of course. Not by a long shot. Anyway, uh, all right, so. Yeah, so we have that. Um, all right. <sighs> uh, so the one we want. All right, so we've been to number one. We've been to number four. Yeah, storage site of raw Ethereum just outside a major city. Apparently, it had to be kept outside because the Ethereum was harmonically violent, volatile. Uh, no name, no identifying information, but page after page of ruined diagrams. Couldn't make out much, but it looks like an astrolab gear, some sort of crest in four pieces. Could this be the look? Okay, no, that's where the forge is. So it's number three we want. 
which is somewhere there. I think that's all for this primary. Yeah, this primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. Okay. Let's co-reference my map. So, let's see. So, if this is the location where that one was, hmm, which means somewhere around here, I'm guessing? Yeah, this is definitely an odyssey. <laughs> uh, no, a little more, almost like, hmm, almost diagonally across. Let's see. Okay. So... Yeah, so if this is here... Yeah, it's gotta be somewhere here in this general area, which is huge, by the way! Um... Okay. We'll... Alright, so we'll start from here. And then we'll try and find something. A mine, huh? Hmm. Not much to go on with that one, but... Shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, in my last playthrough when I did this, it was easier for me because I had already went, like, just so many places. Uh, let's see. Hmm. So we gotta find ourselves a dwarf stronghold of a sort. Alright, so it's gotta be somewhere in this general vicinity. You. Be gone. Okay, so uh if I recall this is like a hag ravens. Yeah, this is where that hag raven is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, screw it. May as well kill her. Oh yeah, that's right, it's not a hag raven yet. It's just an ordinary hag. There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, fine. So I may as well... Gonna want that on. Oh, come on, you schmuck. Well, that's completely useless. Uh, do I have anything generic to wear? No, not really. Yeah. Eh, might as well keep that on, I guess. Um... Schmuck. Of course he would. Uh, where's my... Gonna need that. Yeah, fire will do. Yo! You coward. Come down here. That's it. How'd you like getting staggered, huh? You like that? There we go. Done. Schmuck. Uh, 
there it is. I already have this book, of course, but... Save every book, I say. Save every book. Yeah, so, uh, as you can see, this, uh, woman here was trying to become a hag, Raven. And she'll succeed, or at least another one will succeed, <laughs> when, when you do the Sanguine quest, which I plan to do. That's for sure. That's a fun quest, and I will not deny myself of that adventure. Oh, Lydia. Right behind you. How can I serve you, my Thane? Carry these heavy, heavy bones and rid me of my burden. Oh, and also these. Oh, she's <laughs> she's reaching her limit. Uh, all right. Let's get going then. I forgot that they they do have limit. They do have a limit on what they can carry. They can they can just carry a lot. <laughs> That's all. Uh, let's see. Really? Oh, well, hello there, brother bear. Thank you, Lydia. Okay. Now then... Oh. May as well, uh, find this location. Uh, I think this is just a, uh... A simple... Inn? Ah, that's Kynes Grove. <laughs> we all know what happens there. Uh, well, it's a good thing I found it. it. Saves me a lot of walking. Uh, this is a hunter's camp. Uh, that is completely overrun by bears, if I recall correctly. Yep. Thank you. Yep. Just, uh, poor, poor schmuck. Ah, yeah. I guess I may as well grab one of those. How dare. Nice. Let's see. Hmm. 
It's another... It's a... Sawmill. Sawmill. Not a windmill. Technically a water wheel, but either way. Hmm. Yeah, it's supposed to be somewhere around here. Uh... I really don't need that. <laughs> huh. Big lummox. inside not important right now uh, we're trying to find uh, so strange can't say that I recall there ever being Dwemer ruins around here now this is actually a very uh, Yeah, mixed water mill. Yeah, this is a... <laughs> this place is actually kind of funny. Because uh, the owner of this place, she's kind of going belly up because uh, all her workers went to join the war. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, the war is not doing her any favors. That's for damn sure. Hmm... Hmm. Let me check them the book again. Hmm. Yeah, it should be somewhere around here. Uh, let me see. Gross. So Hmm. Yeah, because here's this. Hmm. Well, let's head back over here and try and... <sighs> Maybe I'll head south from here. Because North is just taking me to White Run, uh, not White Run, Windhelm. That's not really doing me any good. Let's see, what was the clue again? The primary source of Ethereum extracted from some deeper mine. Hmm. Yeah, that's all it says, from some deeper mine. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, it's gotta be like... I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be over here? Maybe that... Hmm. Maybe it is supposed to be like somewhere around here? Like in this general vicinity? Hmm. Well, we'll just keep checking. I mean, it's gotta be here somewhere. But yeah, let's just... Uh, let's head in this general direction. Fortunately, there's no real clues. Hmm. 
Well then, I guess we know where that dragon came from, huh? Aha! Probably there. That's a mine. Oh, thank God. I'm glad I found this place. Woo! That saves me so much. Uh, you see, there's this uh, quest that takes you there. Um, and it's kind of annoying if you have to actually physically walk here. Because you have to take this pilgrim, and like, uh, if you want the good ending, then you have to bring him. And it's, it's such a pain in the... Took us... Hmm... Dark water crossing. Maybe this is the place. Well, no, not really. It wouldn't be like this is. Hmm? Oh. Well, she said a deeper mine, so... Hang on. Check the map. Uh... Nah, I think it's too far south. Yeah. Hmm... Let's see. It's supposed to be north of a river. So, let's see, here's that river, joins up here, so, sh I guess it should be up here then, based on the topography, let's see, cause, alright, so, The Imperialist the mm. Let's see. Alright, so that down there, that's clearly Riften. Then that goes up there towards up. Yeah, it's Okay, so Yeah, alright, so if that area right there is the marshes, that means it has to be to the left of the marshes. We need that. So it has to be over here then, in this general area. Dolls. So we'll just teleport over there and give it a give it a little looky loo. Um. <sighs> Actually, I think I'll just stop right now and then we'll continue on in the next episode because uh, <laughs> I'm fairly confident it's around here. It's like gotta be somewhere around here. Because the map makes much more sense here. Um, but yeah, but until that time, though, this is MegaWizard79 bidding you all adieu.